Hello everybody, it's Mike Yow, the creator of Savage Kingdoms Role-Playing Game and the owner of Fire in the Head Productions, my little indie game design company. It's really just me, but occasionally I outsource a few people for graphic design or maybe writers or whatever. So anyway, we are kickstarting, we, I, um, we're kickstarting a new book in the Savage Kingdoms 3rd Edition line. It's uh, called Savage Kingdoms Heroic Adventures. And this, you're probably watching this video through the Kickstarter page. We launched the Kickstarter campaign yesterday at the time of this filming. Uh, right now it's April 27th, so we launched it on the 26th. It'll be running for 30 days, uh, so therefore it ends uh, towards the end of May. We're looking at $1,500, which is uh, very, very hopeful, uh, hopefully simple to make, but uh, you never know nowadays in this economy. Uh, and such a, a very small game, this is very indie game, but it does have a very loyal following, all maybe 100 people <laughs> that play the game, which I thank you, by the way. Uh, but it does have a loyal following, and it does keep me producing these products in the game line. So this is the third edition that we're in. The third edition core rulebook came out last year. And then, um, oh wait, year before, I think. Wow, time is weird in pandemic era, as we all know. Uh, and then the Savage East came out uh, last year, and in, towards the end of last year, and that was the expansion to the setting. Uh, also expanded a few more rules, but mostly it was uh, expanded the, the setting, uh, introduced more talents and spells and weaknesses and more races and cultures and that kind of stuff uh, to add to the core rulebook, which also covered the Western part of the known world. So this book, Savage Kingdoms Heroic Adventures, features four uh, modular adventures, four adventures, or used to be called modules back in the 70s. I guess we still use that terminology occasionally uh, with D&D, but... Uh, so uh, for, for at least four, there might be five, depending on the, the space and editing and all that stuff. There'll be at least four. Um, one is already, I've gotten mostly written. Uh, one is a kind of a rewritten version of an older adventure. I'm not sure. It might have, it might be on drive through RPG, but in any case, uh, it's being brought up to date. And then there'll be t at least two more, if not three, uh, completely brand new ones, possibly based on adventures that I've run in my actual home campaign or adventures from Dragon Con and some other uh, conventions where I featured a Savage Kingdom. So also in addition to the four or five uh, adventure modules, there will be uh, a bestiary section. So there'll be more monsters and critters, NPC templates, expect probably say 20 to 25, maybe 30 more uh, monsters, cr uh, creatures, uh, demons, animals, giant beasts, and that sort of thing, gorgons, uh, and then probably 10 or 15 more NPC templates, maybe 20. We'll have to see what the time allows. So please uh, chip in a few gold pieces if you can, or at least a couple of silver, maybe even a few copper pieces. Um, also, U.S. dollars even works even better uh, to try to help us make our goal. It's a very modest goal of 1500 It's just enough to pay a graphic designer and to cover shipping for the hardcover books. That's about literally all I cover. So hopefully we can clear it a little bit. I know I've cut it close in the past, and I end up kind of eating a little bit of, a little bit more money than I thought I would. But uh, in general, it's come out pretty well. So hopefully we'll we'll clear that. If we hit uh, at least 2000 it'll be a little more comfortable, and, and, and maybe I can like afford a little bit of marketing and distribution and that sort of thing. All right, well, thanks for paying attention and I will talk to you guys soon. Please chip in if you can and let other people know about the Kickstarter for Savage Kingdom's Heroic Adventures. Talk to you again soon.